To be ethical, if you're a billionaire today, the thing that you need to do is give up control mm. and power. And your sexual. So I don't want your <laughs> money as much as we want your power. So someone should make a company, produce something, employ people, add value, and then you, oh, so you'll steal it. Let's get to, actually, I think this is uh, more important because kind of like with the 2016 campaign, everyone was focusing on Hillary Clinton. And we focused on Bernie. You can go back and right. watch those videos. Yeah. Uh, we have the most viewed videos on Bernie Sanders in that 2016 period. And we thought, okay, Hillary Clinton is, it, it's going to be effectively a coronation, right, with Hillary Clinton. But right. Right. Bernie is the movement candidate. Right. That's the one that you have to dissect and ridicule so that people see the absurdity for what it is. Mm -hmm. Same thing here. If people are just focusing on Klobuchar or Warren, and I understand they're way further left, um, I think it's important to still recognize that Bernie and now AOC, these are the movement candidates are, yeah. that you need to be more concerned concerned with. So mm -hmm. it, that being said, at an event that was uh, commemorating Martin Luther King Jr., yes, one of them Junior. nailed a thing to the door of the church, Different Martin one of them Luther. black guy. Different yeah. one. Uh, Alexandria yeah. Ocasio-Cortez <laughs> gave an interview with author Tanihisi Tene 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 Coates. Tene 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 I, well, here he is. Tea Coates. Yeah. Another thing that I've been really thinking and sitting with today is that we ha there's this um, gun rights protest that's right. happening right. down in Richmond. Right. And on MLK Day. On MLK Day. <laughs> but here's the image that has struck MLK with me the most the about gun, that. Is that <laughs> when we go out and march for the dignity and the recognition of the lives of people like Freddie Gray mm -hmm. and Eric Garner, mm -hmm. the whole place No mention of Brown. No. The one that started Black yeah. Lives Matter. Uh, or Trayvon. Mm -hmm. Without a gun in sight. Mm -hmm. And here are all of these people um, flying Confederate flags Ooh, with semi-automatic weapons, mm -hmm. and there's almost no police officers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. at that protest. Okay, by the way, she says a couple of things. We'll get to the fact <laughs> that actually, she, she's, they, remember the guy says on MLK Day, well, as though guns are, right, Martin right, Luther yeah. King Jr., by the way, applied for concealed carry permit to defend himself and was denied despite qualifying. Right. MLK was not anti-Second Amendment at all, and no. that should point us to the dangers of giving over that authority and autonomy to the government, because at mm. that point, the government didn't provide equal rights to blacks, and they had their justifications. Well, guess what? That can change at any, that can change at any point yeah. if the government is in charge of granting and recognizing rights as opposed to it being granted by an, uh, a creator. And, and by the way, something else that's also based on a false premise, she said, oh, and there is not, there are all these guns and not, not, a, not a police officer in sight. There were three different police forces working yeah. overtime. And like, like, like uh, Gerald said, the event was peaceful, unlike the Black Lives Matter protest, which by the way, she didn't mention Ferguson, hands yeah. up, don't shoot, start it with Mike Brown. Yeah. Little word of advice, don't try to punch a cop or pistol whip him with his own gun, just for it's, starters. Yeah. So in Ferguson, you had <laughs> so rioters, lot, yeah. cost the city millions of dollars. Yeah. Dallas, 12 officers were shot, five were killed. So again, which side would really need more police at their events? Not to mention the little fact mm. that an Antifa member tried to firebomb an ICE facility after being inspired by AOC's concentration camp rhetoric. And I wanna be really clear here, it, was, it wasn't like some guy in Christchurch then mentioning, oh, Candace Owens as a troll job. This right. person believed that uh, there were concentration camps going on. At, uh, it's really more like a Pizzagate comparison. Oh uh, next clip. <laughs> it was also stupid. We don't have a left party mm. in the United States. Mm. The Democratic Party is mm. not a left party. Did you add the mm uh, I did not. <laughs> He's just doing that? That's all him. Which is remarkable the because he's slapped The Democratic Party <laughs> is a center Ventriloquist. or center conservative party. So <laughs> hold on a second. There is no left party. The Democrat wow. establishment, they're, they're, they're moderate. Do you, do you mean like, do you mean on immigration where you guys are for reasonable immigration reform, border security? Oh no, wait, hold on a second. You are for not only completely open borders yeah. and no wall, but against not deporting, we're not talking about dreamers or children, you are against deporting serial violent felons provided that they currently live in sanctuary cities mm -hmm. and you're against sending back criminals who are in our prisons illegally? Oh, okay. Oh, well, you must mean the Democrats are more, <laughs> what, they're more moderate on abortion, say, yeah. for things like no. limitations that most Americans, even who identify as pro-choice, like 20-week mm. limits, I don't know, maybe the first try. Oh, wait, no. Oh, you mean the entire Democratic Party, with the exception of Tulsi Gabbard, support abortion up until yeah. the baby crowns? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe the, the Democrat, let me think, they're uh, centrist on firearms, right? Where maybe they're just talking about making sure that right. violent felons right. uh, don't get firearms. And wait, no, hold on, that's already the case. Oh, no, oh. no, no, you're talking about the dissenting opinions in Heller versus D.C. and the entire Democratic Party who want to make all semi-automatic firearms illegal? 
What do you, hold on a second. Maybe, what do you mean Democrats are moderate on taxes and they believe in a progressive tax code where, I don't know, maybe like 37% in the top bracket or maybe our corporate tax should be comparable to other nations like Sweden? Or, oh, oh, no, wait, you're okay with a 90% tax and you want us to have the highest corporate tax in the industrialized world? I just, I think there's a disconnect, you crazy, horrible human being. <laughs> Well, very, very sounds, stupid. Sounds center conservative. Yes. Yeah. Very, very yes. conservative. Yeah. Well, we go there, what, through abortion, guns, taxes, immigration. I mean, Mao say what? Okay, <laughs> next clip. The story that's not told is the impact on our collective psyche mm. on the island. Mm. There's um, again. What is this? Mm. No mm. one believes. It sounds like the turtle humping a work that boot. Can I hear that? Mm. <laughs> treats them as, treats us as full citizens. Because we, the United States doesn't. You know, my own family, it's like they had all of these emergency backpacks ready to go She's with about torches Puerto Rico for and MREs and rations mm -hmm. because they knew that no one was going to come. And that's the psyche. And to know that a society does not care for you has a profound impact on one's psyche. Remember how we talked about ascribing intent? Yeah. So not only did she just describe motive and intent, knowing they don't care about you, but then also attributed non-existent policy to it or actions. Yes. This goes back, lest you, you've forgotten, all the way back to 2017 with um, San Juan Mayor. Uh, he, he was claiming that Trump was uh, withholding right. relief aid. I don't know yeah. if you guys remember yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But if you recall, actually it was the mayor who hadn't attended any meetings, and Puerto Rican right. officials had, they completely failed to coordinate delivery of the supplies. Yep. So even those that they had received remained completely unopened. Look, in that, 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 that picture right there, that's a press conference in front of unopened supply boxes. <laughs> that's like Donkey Kong Country's banana hoard. Oh my gosh. <laughs> where, where, whenever could these supplies be? But, yeah. Right. Why? But, but, but exactly. it, must, it must be because Americans hate yeah. Puerto yeah. Rican. Of course. Of course. And they, the right. supplies actually sat so long that some of them you couldn't be used anymore. Oh, yeah. Because they didn't distribute Expired. them. Right. Well, now, okay, so with the recent earthquakes, this is obviously what we're talking about thoughts and prayers with the people of Puerto Rico. Of course. Uh, Puerto Rican government has repeated the same cycle with loads of supplies remaining in warehouses, not. Not wow. being distributed to those in need. I guess time to blame America. It's America's fault. <laughs> 51st state, fingers crossed. Right. The problem with Puerto Rico is not the United States. It's not our conservatism. It's right. not free enterprise. It is the bloated bureaucratic government that you, AOC, view as the solution to all problems. When you talk about taking out big businesses, when you talk about fair distribution, when you talk about more centralized regulation, who are you talking about? The exact kind of people, government officials, mayors, governors. So I don't know the entire, maybe it's a part, Puerto Rico, I don't know exactly no who idea. it is. I know important people. The point is, you want them to be in charge of these decisions disasters exclusively. You want them to be in charge of medical aid. That's also why you want to take away tax exempt status from churches who, by the way, provide an overwhelming amount of relief to a lot of these uh, foreign countries. We did it here with yep. Hurricane Harvey yeah. at one point. Absolutely. And they don't want to say, because by the way, unless you forget the argument is, well, you just did that. So it's a tax deduction. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah. We raised yeah. several hundred thousand dollars for Hurricane Harvey because we would pay a few thousand dollars left in taxes. You moron. By the way, <laughs> hit the notification uh, bell and hit all notifications on the bell if you've hit the notification bell before and you're subscribed because now apparently the notification bell does not alert you of all uploads or the live streams. New video goes up every single night with the exception of Sunday and uh, ah. of course join Mug Club LottoWithCredit.com slash Mug Club because that is what allows us to continue to produce this content for you and like 80% more content there in the, the entire Blaze TV catalog. Uh, all right, I think we have more of this, this broad next clip. You didn't make those widgets. Mm. You sat on a couch. Mm. Maybe a love seat. Thousands. <laughs> Maybe a nice sectional. <laughs> a fainting couch. Modern day slave wages, and in some cases, Chase real lunch. slave, real modern day slavery. No. Uh, depending on where you are in our in in terms of food production. Mm -hmm. um, Not in this country. You made that money off, off the backs of undocumented people. Mm -hmm. You made that money off of the backs of. Um, black and brown people being paid off a living wage, what? under mm -hmm. a living wage. You mm -hmm. made that money off of the backs of single mm -hmm. mothers. Single mothers. And who, all of these people who are literally dying mm -hmm. because they can't afford to live. Mm -hmm. And so no one <laughs> ever what? makes I'm a billion sure. dollars. I like her hype, man. He's yeah. so low key. <laughs> you take a billion dollars. Mm -hmm.
<laughs> what? laying on your couches time. with the jokes on you. I was on a day bed. <laughs> <laughs> it's a convertible. It's a futon, way, okay. Do you notice how right away she feels? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's Americans exploiting black and brown people, paying them slave wages. Mm. Let me ask, how about the brown people paying brown people? Uh. What's their going rate, sweetheart? <laughs> Let's get into the fair trade oh bullshit. I'm sorry, this thing bothers me so much. You see this yeah. all the time. People talk about like like coffee or whatever it is that they're buying at the store. Cacao, which is a stupid term. It's cocoa. It's cocoa. It's cocoa. You just haven't roasted it. Stop saying cacao. It doesn't change what it is. Cold cacao. You did. cacao. So you see this fair trade label on there. And what happens? They tell you a story, right? They go, well, yeah. you know, it's fair trade because if you don't pay fair trade, these people in these countries, we don't realize they're being exploited and they're only making a dollar a day. And you don't ask them, well, what are they making with your fair trade cocoa? a buck fifty it goes <laughs> further uh. there they don't provide the context for example i think we right. have a source here ivory coast agricultural workers make on average four dollars a day those who work uh, for fair trade certified companies see it boosted to a whopping six Ooh. so they're not so being paid better. an american minimum wage you need to provide the scale and the context and on top of that this goes back to aoc's false claim the living wage claims which doesn't really mean anything because it changes every single year right, yeah. they were debunked by washington post last year lest you think that it's fake news the company of course that that uh, alexandria uh, uh, uh casio nina pinta santa maria cortez the one that she always takes aim at is, is amazon for not paying its employees evil. a living wage. These evil billionaires, yep. right? They didn't make these companies. They nope. just sat on their, uh, what was it, love seat? They just sat <laughs> on their love yeah. seat. Yes. Yeah. They just really Sectionals. pretty much, uh, they sat on their bean bag. <laughs> didn't make these companies where there are now hundreds of thousands of people who have jobs. Right. Amazon uh, alone employed 750,000 people in 2019. That's a, wow. That sounds like a lot. And by the way, you wanna know what AOC would do where she's talking about this if someone like her, so it's not necessarily about AOC because she probably won't make it to some kind of serious uh, national platform as far as president please or something no, like that please, because no, she's please. crazy. You can see it in the eyes. Please you know, no, like, no. <laughs> yeah, please, please no, please no. <laughs> what are you, calling a squirrel? <laughs> it's my eye, it's the way my eye is, it's the way my eye is. Oh, well, okay. Trying All to right. get the horse to Were go. Were you dropped? Sorry. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Do you want to know what someone like AOC would do if they were in power nationally as they mm. bitch about Donald Trump in one of the most uh, burgeoning economies that we've ever seen? Look at her district in New York, where she gave Amazon the boot despite the overwhelming support of her constituents yeah. wanting yeah. to bring Amazon in along with its 25,000 jobs at below a living wage, mind you. $150,000 yeah. average annual salary. Yeah. That's more than six, But she's right? for the workers. Yeah, we should just toss that to AOC. <laughs> nice. Think about that for a second. 25,000 jobs yeah. in Queens, gone. $150,000 a year. Right. The point is, if you, just, if you think that that's exploitation, you just hate companies that aren't government owned. Exactly. You want to nationalize everything. Don't tell me that it's about $16 an hour. Don't even tell me it's about $25 an hour. Right. You kicked out 25,000 jobs, averaging $150,000 a year. It's it. That's over. You're done. Nobody likes lying losers with crazy eyes. Next clip. <laughs> I think it's totally fine and human and natural to feel mm -hmm. that way. Mm -hmm. So my Jordans are okay. That's, that's, I that's think your Jordans are okay. That's, that's a, you know, it's like good if to you see your priorities are oh, straight. Wow. Then, like, live in it mm. while fighting for a better world. Right, right. <laughs> God, <just> a, <laughs> that's too easy. Wow. Of oh all gosh. the companies, she uses Nike as an example. <laughs> Is it oh, me? Man. Is it yeah, me? It's a little crazy. <laughs> the same Nike famous for exploiting sweatshop labor conditions in other countries that we don't allow in our capitalist system, by the uh -huh. way, here in the United States. But it's okay when it's Nike because they support sodomy and this ass. So that's fine. <laughs> I think we have, is this the last clip of AOC? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, thank, oh, thank, thank goodness. you. Thank you. Yes, okay, so let's roll it. To be ethical, if you're a billionaire today, the thing that you need to do is give up control mm. and power. And your sexual. So I don't want your money <laughs> as much as we want your power. Oh, boy. We don't want wow. to demand you earned it, right, AOC? for a billionaire to fund this or that. What we want to demand is to change these systems, change the business model that has exploited so many people. Huh. I wasn't looking at my iPad. I just, honestly, I was just looking down because I'm very sad. <laughs> it's embarrassing for her. We want her. your power. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, okay. Come and take oh, it. Wait, oh, okay, so, so someone should make a company, produce something, employ people, add value, and then you, 
Oh, so you'll steal it. Right. No, Steven, you're misunderstanding. Uh, billionaires, as she stated before, never make a billion dollars. They, they take it. They take it. Right. As that's, opposed to mm-hmm. what AOC right. does. That's not taking it. No, it's not taking it. Not taking it. It's, it. it. it's repurposing. It. It. Okay. It <laughs> All right. Toss She's a couple a of chair. Googlies into the mix. We're murky on the rule book. Yeah. By the way, before we get into the whole <laughs> idea of why that is horrible, Jeff Bezos, I don't agree with his politics. We've talked about that quite right. a bit. But he's not some guy who was raised wealthy with a silver no, spoon in his mouth. Right. This is a guy. This is the American dream. Created it. Less, I keep saying less. I should stop. It's because yeah. Lester Holt is on your mind. Yeah, it's on your mind. Yes. <laughs> we have to bring that back up. He does. He Muppet. looks like a stylish yeah, Muppet. He does. He does. In <laughs> case you've forgotten, Amazon was a bookseller for right. a long time. It yeah. didn't become what it is today accidentally. I don't oh. agree with his politics, but what gives me the right to take anything? from Jeff, Be- uh, Jeff Bezos. This is, this is the, the concept of right. They want to take from people, AOC, who have actually worked to create something. It would be, right. to give you a more kind of direct comparison, I think I was talking with our researcher, uh, Reg, who's brilliant, just, and he's so strong. He squats like 630 pounds. Oh, wow. He's like a competitive That's power scary. lifter at 180 pound body weight. Jeez. I said, imagine this, if we could put on just sort of this, these helmets, like I think you've seen them in Star Trek where you switch bodies, and you've done all of this work, and for eight years you worked to create this total so you can compete on a national level in powerlifting, and all of a sudden, I just go, and I suck up your power. Because here's the thing. She's talking about giving us your power. Well, we see with Puerto Rico or the government, even the United States. They don't give up the power once they've taken it. The no. power is going somewhere. You are talking, AOC, about displacing power from people who are beholden to adding value lest they lose power, I said it again, right. versus you who will have the power subsequently regardless of having earned it. And we should know this. Anyone who has a serious firearm, a high caliber firearm, and has never used it, never trained with it, that's a bad idea. Right. Put someone under a 500 pound barbell who's never worked their way up to create that strength. It doesn't end well. These people who want all of the power, as she just said, haven't earned it. It will collapse and they will fold under the weight yeah. and subsequently uh, the American people. And I understand why, if someone had to work to create this, let's even go back to Jeff Bezos. I don't agree with his politics. Why is it immoral for Mr. Bezos to want to keep what he's created, but it's not immoral for you or me to want to take it? Again, displacing this power from billionaires, you're going to displace it to people who made Puerto Rico happen. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe or hit the notification bell and hit all notifications because uh, not all notifications work now. If you just hit the normal notification bell, I think there's some videos playing in boxes. But of course, do consider uh, subscribing at ladderofcutter.com slash mug club because there's a bunch of content that could never make it onto YouTube. And I think the, the box is playing. There's a video playing in a box with...